G'day and a very warm welcome back to the Weedy Garden. It was a year ago I published my first YouTube video and this episode is going to be one of my all-time favourites and I'll tell you why. You see, this episode is all about community. It's about friendship, connection and an amazing group of people who just visited my garden, the Grounded Crew. All of them are permies, that's short for permaculturist and they are part of a growing tribe of people across the world from all nations who are taking the responsibility to better our world and themselves on a personal level by learning to live and grow with the earth through permaculture, permanent agriculture, living in ways that do not deplete the natural resources of the earth. Do you remember a few episodes ago I was digging my swales? getting the hill prepared for my food forest and I had a bunch of guys come and help me with the digging. I'm about halfway. They were part of a group in my community we call the Grounded Permaculture Action Party. Okay, It's not a party like with music and dancing, although it can be. It's more like a rescue party or work party. Here where I live in northern New South Wales, Australia, there are lots of these groups and we have a strong feeling of community in this part of the world and it's natural for us to help each other. Well those guys came and went and left me feeling like I wanted to do something more about this situation. I wanted to promote the idea and to inspire you wherever you are in the world to start a grounded crew in your community. So I put a call out on the Grounded Permaculture Action Community Facebook page and invited 30 people to come and help me turn this into this in just one day. First I've got to make it cozy, so I've got some lemons to make some juice. There'll be a lot of sweating with all that digging. I've got a fireplace made for the evening and I made a loo with a view. I marked out all my swales where people are going to dig. I got everything ready, so all I had to do was wait. people working as volunteer because there is no money in Brock which is more we can give our energy to others to our yeah, energy into this land which we love then look at those people now they're sharing their time life into this land this is what I, what I like tribal, communal experience, which is just really beautiful. And um, as I witness and observe everything, it's just a very peaceful experience. It's, it's almost like we are in rhythm with the, the earth and we're supported by the earth because it's just a very delicate, delicate moment. Well, this is the uh, this is what we call. It's not an overflow. What's this? Crossing pipe. Huh? Crossing pipe. Crossing pipe. Crossing pipe. You know, when you got your wheelbarrow full of mangoes, you don't want to be going up over the swell and through the swell and up over the swell. So you want to have a nice little pathway coming up the hill. 
uh, but you want your water to be going from the next well to the other swale. So we've got a pipe here, which is sitting on the ground here. So when the water level comes up, it's just going to go through the pipe over to the next swale on the other side of my path. And I can walk up with my wheelbarrow full of mangoes. Oh, no, it's actually a cocoon. A cocoon, is it? It was yeah. in the dirt. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it's just, it just feels so natural and normal, just, you know, just following the, the, the scent of the soil um, and people that want to do the work and get lots of gardens happening everywhere so we can take care of every square centimetre of soil on this beautiful country we live in. The Windy Hill. The Windy Hill. Look at this. So thanks for watching and thanks for all the people that came and helped me dig the other day. So much appreciate that. So I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it inspires you to connect with your community and start up your own grounded crew where you're from. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later.